All right, so after plugging in, making sure it worked, I did a quick maiden in the house. I do not suggest that, um, but it worked. So um, the next few steps is just getting everything packed up, getting ready to meet Team Banjo Legs to fly it. Sorry about that, my alarm. <laughs> Nine inches, not bad. Insane to say in here. Today we're gonna learn how to uh, build a drone. So uh, follow me. So we all know that most of us keep a dirty workbench. So the first step is cleaning everything off. Perfect. First, we wanna start off with the parts list. What you're gonna need is a skeleton. So it is the bones of the quad, otherwise known as a frame. But if you fly FPV, you call it a skeleton. Next, you move on the FPV camera. Although it's smaller than what most women would like, it gets the job done. Then we move over here to the ESCs. These things, I seriously honestly don't know what they mean, but you want a higher A um, because you're better than everyone else. Here, uh, we have what I'm pretty sure is called a receiver and it receives information from your transmitter, which makes your drone do things. Um, we have a all-in-one PDB, but I guess it's not really an all-in-one because the ESCs aren't attached, so it's like a two-in-one. I don't know. Joshua Bardwell, he thinks he knows everything. I don't know. Then we got- <laughs> Don't listen to anything he's saying right now. Like I was saying, this is a Joshua Bardwell board, and since he knows so much and is very intelligent, don't buy anything else, just buy his. Um, they work, never had an issue with them, Perfect, he knows everything, great guy. Anyway, we're gonna go on to the VTX. This is the video transmitter. Uh, this is how you select channels uh, for your goggles and set all that up. And you always wanna fly on 800 or above, blast your friends out, who really cares about them? Then we're gonna go down to the motors. Uh, you don't even have to match the motors. They don't really matter as long as they're kind of the same KV But this is what spins the propellers and gets your drone up in the air So now that we know the parts, let's start putting this baby together So one of the biggest investments that you're gonna want to do if you're gonna get into the sport uh, Is getting a good soldering iron. So today we're gonna use the track power um, You can kind of select your degree all that that's gonna help you build it um, some people don't have one uh, that shows your degree and I'll show you a little tip to know when it's ready to use this is the tip that I was talking about. So if you don't know what degree or your uh, iron doesn't have a setting, this is the tip to know when it's ready. So just pick it up here. See, so we're wanting to see if that part is hot. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna gently Now that we know that the soldering iron is hot and ready to go, we can put it in its secure and safe place. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the frame, um, putting the motors on the skeleton. Uh, so we're gonna start off by getting your motor screws. You really only need two per motor. They send four, but those are really just backups um, in case you know your frame shakes or it's broken, you can put two more anywhere else. Um, so let's get going. Well, that one's not long enough. that to all four all right now that now that we got all four of these on uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the flight controller on and remember we're gonna use the Joshua Bardwell board okay so we're just gonna put this on here like so then the next step is uh, we're gonna put some nuts on there and tighten air down uh, and then we'll go on from there it is okay if it jiggles a little bit um, and that way it doesn't break when you're doing your flips and rolls Oh my god. I just wanted to go on there. Come on, little guy. Do you want cheaply? It's too jiggly. It's like one of them five dollar hoes. <laughs> you want some jiggle, but not that much jiggle. Because you know you're going to pay for it. 
Now, I just wanted to show you what a common mistake people make is, which is putting the flight controller and power board on first. But again, we're using the Joshua Bardwell board. Um, he's an innovator, very smart man, so he has stuck his battery leads on the bottom. So if you're using one of his boards, like me, you don't wanna do this. What you actually wanna do is attach those first, then put it on. So go back, do that, and then we'll pick up where I left off. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, Joshua Bardwell board back on there with the power leads on, uh, we're gonna start putting on the ESCs again. Um, today we're using, I believe, 30A. The higher the A, the better. Um, it's gonna give you more power, more speed, more durability just more awesomeness. Um, normally I fly 100A, but we're just trying to do this a little quicker um, and I had some 30As laying around. So let's put this baby together. So another tip um, while trying to solder on your ESCs is to use double-sided sticky tape. You put it on the skeleton and then you put your ESC on it and that way your ESC stays still while you're trying to move the wires and solder it on there. So we're just gonna cut some pieces, uh, put four on the skeleton and then start soldering. All right, so next we're going to solder on our uh, ESCs to our flight controller. So we're gonna do negative and positive first. So just always remember red is negative. It's kind of like being in debt um, or really anything else that's negative, it's always red. So you connect red to the negative, black to the positive. Again, red to the negative, black to the positive. All right, let's go. All right, so just remember, you wanna solder your tip so everything sticks. And this part is very important. Um, if you end up doing the red to the positive and the black to the negative, you can cause a lot of damage. You can fry some things, you can even start a fire. So always remember, red is negative, black is positive. All right, so just remember, it's gonna take time, a lot of effort, a lot of practice to get your soldering skills down. Uh, took me forever, so don't be upset or frustrated that your skills aren't as good as mine. I basically mastered soldering, as you can see by how good my job is. You want a clean solder, and all your friends will be jealous about your clean build. All right, and this is a smoke stopper, otherwise known as a firefighter, or Smokey the Bear. It prevents things from smoking, catching on fire. Really unnecessary. If you've built it the way I've told you to build it, you won't have to worry about it. And really, it's just a waste of money, because if you can follow directions, you don't need it. As you can see, we've uh, soldered it. We, I did all of this. <laughs> it's we. As you can see, I've soldered everything up. Uh, so we're gonna get a battery, we're gonna plug it in to see if it all works before we proceed. All right, so we're gonna use a battery. You wanna use one that looks like it's been to war and back. Uh, you know, that way it's hardy, you know it's been through some crap and it'll do you good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug it in, see if everything lights up and works, and then we'll proceed. Perfect. So at this point, you can see everything worked um, by the flame, but the flame wasn't big enough. Um, you get your horsepower, basically, your, your muscle, your strength by how big the, frame, or the flame was. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust a few things uh, and see how it goes from there. All right, so that didn't work. So obviously, we need a little bit more of this. Again, smoking's normal. And that, folks, is how you get more horsepower. All right, now that that part is done and it has extra horsepower, let's put this baby back on the bench and see if everything works. Now that we got this guy hooked up, he's got all the horsepower in the world. Uh, we'll plug her in, see if she works. Uh, but first, uh, it's a long process, so get yourself a snack. You always want to have snacks ready to go. Thanks,
school. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna plug her in, see if everything chimes and lights up. Looks like she's ready to maiden. All right, so after plugging in, making sure it worked, I did a quick maiden in the house. I do not suggest that, um, but it worked. So um, the next few steps is just getting everything packed up, getting ready to meet Team Banjo Legs to fly it. Sorry about that, my alarm. And uh, we'll pack it back and get ready to go. <laughs> That was pretty bad. All right guys, don't forget, like and subscribe. Check out Team Banjo Legs and my own channel, Insane to Sane FPV. Catch you guys next time.